All right, here's what we're doing today. It's called Tabata sequence, which means that we're doing eight exercises. Every single exercise we do for 20 seconds, and then you get 10 seconds to rest before the next exercise. We're doing these eight. We're doing swimmers, V-ups, tap-tap squats, diamond push-ups, tuck-ups, ballet hops, alternating V-ups, and then wide arm bottom half push-ups. Again, it's just 20 seconds of each exercise, 10 seconds stretch in between, which means this whole thing is only gonna take us four minutes. We go through it three times. You're really only gonna be working out for 12 minutes. That's also why you can see the stopwatch on the screen so you can keep going with us. But uh, yeah, every time I've done a body sequence, it's usually just whooped my good. So hopefully it's not too bad, but here we go. You guys ready? Yay, second explanation. Yeah, 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 hey, really? Really, now that I hit record, you don't have to let people know I had to do that the second time. Yeah. Okay, starting with swimmers, 20 seconds. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Everything's gotta be trying to be done quick. I feel like I'm turning mini butter turners. Oh my gosh, that sounds delicious right now. <laughs> Rest. 10 seconds, we're on the V-ups. And go, 20 seconds, V-ups. Five more seconds. Yes. Tap, tap, squats. Five. And go. Let's go on. Looking good, guys. Three more seconds. And yeah, diamond push-ups are next. This isn't so bad. Yeah, round one's not bad. <laughs> Ready, go. Keep moving, try to go quick. Don't let yourself rest during these 20 seconds. <laughs> rest. Uh, and five. Ooh, it's windy outside. Yeah, it's really windy. Go. Ow. Ow, my hip. <laughs> and more things. Rest. Belly house. Um. And go. I feel like I'm doing some weird wrestler dance. <laughs> yep. Five more seconds. Done. Alternating V-ups, the right leg and left leg. In three. And go. Ten more sets. Bottom half line arms. In three. What are we doing? And go. Wide arm push-ups, just stay on the bottom half. Just pulls it. Five more seconds. Keep your core tight. And that's round one. Woo. 
We're just gonna do that two more times. Starting in 30 seconds. Too good. Come on. One more seconds. Have you ever recorded yourself and asked why it sounds so bad, but then you realize you have a bad recorder? Here we go. Ready. Swimmers, set, go. Turn those better turns. <laughs> yes, Henry. <laughs> on, we can make enough uh, dairy to feed the entire village. One more seconds. Rest. Yeah. Uh, uh, Three. One. Go. Ten more seconds. Rest. Tap, tap, squat. Oh, I am not excited for that third round. <laughs> Two, one, go. Just another round one, but a third time. Get it, Maddie. <laughs> Five more seconds. Rest. Diamond push ups. In three, two, one, and go. Five more seconds. Down. Tuck ups are next. Five. Three. One. Go. Five more seconds. Rest. Belly helps. Come on, guys. You're doing great. Four. Three. One. Go. <coughs> Come on. Keep pushing. Come on. Keep going, Asa. You got this. Five more seconds. Come on, guys. We're almost there. Ah. Rest. Alternate dips. In three, two, one, and go. Rest. Wide arm pulses. In three, one, go. One more seconds. Three. Down. Only one more round. Ready? 30 seconds. Last round, almost there. We got this.
15 more seconds. Shay, I love how you're rushing to do a little workout. Gotta get, look good for that last set. <laughs> Here we go. Swimmers, ready? What? Go. Five more seconds of these evil things. Rest. The ups. Daniel's done with swimmers until Tuesday, or not Tuesday, <laughs> Friday. Yes. Maybe. Go. Ten more seconds. Ah. Rest. That's that squats. In three, one, go. Five more seconds. Rest. Five more pushers. Is that three? You got two. Four more to go. In five, three, one, go. Nice, right, Alexis. Come on, guys, keep it moving. Come on, Shay. Good, Taylor. Yes. Belly hops. In three, one, go. Come on, Shane, get it lower. Come on. Good, Liv. Three more seconds. Rest. All ten V ups. Two more to go. You got this. Three. We're getting to that point where we're Go. Five more seconds. Come on. Let it burn. <laughs> Wide arm pulses, last one, come on. Last one, guys. This one, slow down. Three, two, one, go. Five more seconds, come on. You got this. Can I go get some water? Yes. Go grab some water, guys. Great job. I always like those. They're short, sweet, to the point, but it always makes me struggle, especially by that last round. All right, while we're grabbing water, new thing for today that we're gonna be keeping going. Every workout, we're gonna be doing our Zoom workout. And then we have been doing Zoom workout stretching, 
We're gonna add one piece in the middle. We're gonna do some workout. We're gonna do some body shaping and then we'll do stretching. So we'll make sure we get those three things in every single Zoom workout. One second, breathe. Um, there's a show called like Hidden Killers of Victorian or Victorian or Tudor film. Anyway, I accidentally searched for Deadly. The first thing that popped up was like Deadliest Cat Breed. Like, how was Cat Breed dead? That's fun. Super painful. No. They could have claws. <laughs> Weird dream. My cat has claws and the Easter bunny is scarier than him. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, he's sleeping over in the corner there and he's not doing nothing, so I think we're I think we're pretty okay. As far as goes, yours is pretty scary. Anytime it gets close to the camera, I start cutting out. I'm convinced he's an alien. <sighs> Probably, you're not wrong. All right, I'm going to change the camera a little bit so that hopefully we can get all of this in there. And also, is is the Easter Bunny a, is it a, mar, is it a, um, a placental mammal, is it, a, or is it a monotreme? I don't know, I view it kind of like the platypus, it just doesn't really make sense. Right. <laughs> okay. I think Perry would take Here. offense to that. We're going to do 10 of each. First one we're going to do. There's gonna be reach, tuck. Make sure you're squeezing your fingertips really, really tight at the top. Uh, for this one, if you guys can take a second to get oriented to where when you're standing with your arms up, I should be able to see your fingers. Otherwise, if I can't see your hands, I don't know if you're doing anything weird or not. So see if you can take a second to where I can at least see your arms. When you do the tuck, just make sure that your knees are staying together. You've got one hand on each one. You're trying to pull your chest down. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Make sure you're in tight fingers. There you go, Asa. That's good. Tice, you're good. Tice, can you take a small step back, or is that as far back as you can go? That's as far back as I can go. Okay. Let's Wait. Get out of your good. Watch out for the fan. Olivia, you're good. There you go, Shay. Henry, you got a quite a ways back more to go. Or just sip your camera up. I don't need to see your feet. Lex, is there any way that I can see you? Or you want a, like a tablet or something that doesn't have uh, video capability? It's good. Yeah, Henry. Henry, can you go in and switch your background so I don't see the, the earth thing? As you put your arms up, I can't tell that your body's up there, so I can only see your head and like part of your arms, and it looks like you don't have arms. Oh, okay. Um, I'm not entirely sure how to do that. Here, let me try some stuff. Let's see if I can do it from my side. Um, here, let me ask one thing for a second. Oh. All right, we're going to go and get started. And Henry, if you get back and able to join in, that'd be awesome. Okay, I'm. Mm. There we go, Henry. Now I can see you. There we go. All right, first one we're doing tucks. I'm just going to count it out. One's going to be set, two is going to be the tug, three is going to be the kick out. First one, maybe two. Go ahead and take your time, just get moving. And then three through 10, see if you can be quick and sharp with it and see if being quick starts knocking you off balance. Here we go. One. Good, let's do palms in like you're clapping instead of forwards. Chin up. Two. Good, chin should be down. You should be looking down at your knees. Three. Good, make sure your palms are completely flat again, so I want to see that whole like two-two stuff. Hands, palms, flat. One, two. Oh, I missed it. Oh. One, two, three. 
Good, guys. Ties careful on the way up. It looked like you got loose and then squeezed the top. Make sure you're already tight before you get to the top. One, two, three. Good, Maddie, palms all the way flat. One. Nice, you guys. Two. <laughs> Three. Three more. One. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. One. Two. Nice, go and rest for a second. Next one, we're gonna do the same thing, pike. One's the same. Two is gonna be pike. Make sure you're grabbing behind your calves, trying to pull all the way down. You can be down behind your Achilles. As you do head in, pull down. Even better. When your head's in, you might start losing balance. So make sure you're working on that balance as you pull in. <sighs> if you're not feeling a stretch while you do this pike, you gotta go more. If your face is already completely pressed up against your legs, that'd be the only time you'd have that argument of I'm not feeling a stretch and that being okay. Wait, Daniel, is this okay? As long as you promise your pike's gonna be good. I can see your arms for your set, but I won't be able to see your pike or your kick out. Wait, that's, I changed. That, actually, Henry, that's a really good spot right there if that's too close, but that's good. Okay. All right, you guys ready? We're gonna do the first five facing forwards, and then I'm gonna ask everybody to turn, and the second five, we're gonna do sideways. Cool? Okay. Here we go. One, two, head all the way down. Three. Nice, Henry, don't let those arms flail out. Keep them in, they should just slide up your legs all the way. One, two, three. Nice, you guys, Maddie, flatter hands on your thighs. One, two, three. Good, Liv. One, two, three. Nice, Alexis, keep that core a little tight. Don't let it pull back into an arch. One, two, three. Sideways. One, two, three. Good, guys. Hands should be down, Tice. Maddie, fingers together. Liv, squeeze your butt. One. Tice, even taller, dude. Good. Alexis, taller. Good, you guys. Two. <laughs> Three. Good. Chin up, Maddie. One. Two. Three. Oh, I did that wrong. Man, that was a little weird. Last one, you guys. One. Fingers tight, Asa. Two. Nice. Head in. Three. Tighter fingers, Henry. Tighter fingers. Ah, there it is, Maddie. And relax. <laughs> nice, you guys. All right, so we're going to do some kind of body shaping stuff every single practice between conditioning and stretching. Um, uh, can I turn the background off? Yes, you may. Thank you. Oh, okay. <clears throat> stretching our start quads. And balance. Same thing as before, if you need more of a stretch, open your hip up and you can start leaning down to the ground if you need to. If you're feeling a stretch up here in your quad, you can keep it up here. Uh, I feel like one of those hippie birds. I know, right? Yeah. Except mine's broken, it's not getting back up. Okay. <laughs> Other side. 
Good excuse for tripping is that the earth just just on on shoulders across. Tricep for the top. Can you look at the set by the desk on the floor? Other side. Leg stretch. I'm on my way to a handlebar. Reach one leg. What happened? Ever seen a cat try to catch a roadrunner? This side, no. Funny, the cat tries and then it misses, and it's like, dang it. <laughs> but, like, oh gosh, there's another beast. I might as well just run away again. I feel like that's a lot of Wiley Coyote and Roadrunner. Uh, that's what it is. That there's no explosions. <laughs> Slide out to middles. Do you know that Roadrunner can go 30 miles per hour? Uh, I think that it's 60. Oh, is that? But yeah, they can keep up with cars. That's ridiculous. I'm doing something. But the oh. bull cat, no. <laughs> Tries to catch the road runner and he always misses. It's so sad. Kind of. Um. Uh, does anybody know what road runners eat? Honestly, I thought well, lizards. I was younger, so this is new to me. <laughs> <laughs> road runners stomp snakes to death and then they eat them. And lizards, but you know, I'm doing my workout. Turn to one side, lunge. If all animals suddenly are sentient, I wonder if lions will be held accountable for like war crimes or something. Leg straight, nose pink. It's going to be. Um, I, I, I know. Listen, it's going to be a record one. I don't want to take it up. Slide up. You need to go search, please. I don't have any. If you do, you need to go back. Look up. Look up. Do you take up? Look up. Look up. Look up. Leg 
Leg straighteners meet. Seven up. Wow. And seal stretch. Cat stretch. Cabs. Other leg. Um, you also need to put your shoes away here. Hold on. Your shoes, so you know. Last one, bridge. Here we go. Ready. Set. Up. Five more seconds. And down, rock and roll. Oh. Someone apparently wanted Jeopardy game or something at their funeral, and whoever wins gets their will or something. Hey, uh, great shot, I guess. That was awesome. Good amount of time, too. So that's going to be our pattern for every single Zoom workout. Conditioning, body shaping, stretching. On Fridays, we'll do something extra. Afterwards, we'll speed things up so we have time to just kind of online hang out a little bit. Uh, this Friday, we're just showing something off that you're proud of, whether it's something that you did this last week or earlier, just anything. I think that was a really good idea, Henry. That was awesome. Uh, if you already have ideas for future weeks, let me know. Um, I've got nothing right now. Right now, I just, that's with my first idea. Henry and Olivia tag team the showing something off you're proud of, and then if you have other ideas, we'll, we'll keep going. Um, right. right before we started this workout, I. Uh, Posted kind of a, a daily challenge of stretching. Uh, taking time right now while we're not able to be in the gym to create new habits is a great way to take advantage of what's going on. So if you can start creating the habit now of stretching every single day, when life starts to turn back into what we all remember it being, if you can keep that habit of stretching every single day, if it's going to go a long way. And I know it's really hard to create habits like that when we're already oh, so crazy busy with school and gym and this and that and this and that. So right now is a really good time to create habits like that. Uh, the other thing that I threw in there was to keep each other accountable. Uh, pick one or two friends from team that it won't be too big of a deal for you to reach out and go, hey, did you get your stretching in the day? Or video stretch together. Um, also, see if you can pick one person that you don't normally talk to during this and see if you can start to get your stuff on Not just people you're with, but also others you don't with. See if we can be really good teammates. 
really good time to create those habits of teammate communication and stretching every single day. It'll be really, really good to take this time for that. So check the team out. That's on there as well as a couple other things. And yeah, we'll see you Friday. And I'm excited to see what you guys do besides gymnastics. I'm, I'm actually really excited for this. All right, you guys. Bye. Have a good one. All right, you too. Probably the most dangerous. Okay.